Hello reformers and welcome back to a world of ice and fire. It's been a couple of days actually since I've played this and uh, well, what were we doing? Well, we were actually taking a couple of thieves from the Volantines and uh, I have returned back to Volantis with a, a, an entirely new army actually. We're doing something a little bit different this time around. I'm not going to be throwing my Unsullied away basically in these automated sieges and if we do at some point you know come across a time where we can actually you know go in and assault the actual garrison then obviously we're going to do that but uh, it may mean that I will be heading back and seeing what I can do with that but anyway point is there's only one vassal remaining in the Valentine arsenal and he is I think hiding somewhere I'm actually unsure where he is but anyway I'm just going to uh, hmm. Find a trader, send some men to infiltrate the place. Let's poison the town's water, I guess. Let's try and do that. And uh, for some reason, I'm, why am I getting some? Why am I getting script errors? I think I, I think you get script errors when you uh, do these do these things. Not not these, but uh, the other ones. Anyway, that's absolutely fine. There we go. And technically, we could build mantlets and things like that, but. Uh, I, I guess we'll just do that because I want to try and reduce their their food stock as much as possible. If we can re if, if we can do that and reduce it to a decent amount and actually get a couple of people to run away from this area, then we'll be in a really, really good position. Oh, hello there. Apparently he decided to attack us now. So now that I don't have Unsullied, he is wanting to attack us. Okay, so we have 323 against the enemy's 347. And you may see that I've actually changed Elias' name as well. All right, so let's take to the field and see what we can do here. I'm a bit worried about this, to be honest. I think to myself, hmm, don't really want to be fighting without my Unsullied, to be honest. But, well, let's see how it goes. Right, so there are 294 against the enemies, 336 on the battlefield right now. I am not a big fan of this, personally. I would much prefer to have about 130, well, Unsullied and Veteran Unsullied on the battlefield itself, but uh, we're going to have to make do with what we have here. Uh, I'm actually unsure. Can we skirmish? No, there is no skirmish. Uh, well, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? That is a pretty big problem. No, yeah, it doesn't seem like they have skirmish as an option. I was hopeful that we might be able to use our various wildling raiders and stalkers and things like that to uh, maybe get some kind of really, really cool skirmish going on, but it seems like that is not going to happen. So we're going to have to get our infantry and our skirmishers together, and we're going to have to put them in some kind of ranks or... Um, Probably not ranks, but something else. And spearmen, there we go. Let's get let's do shield wall, I suppose. Shield wall is probably the best idea. And this is bear in mind this is not gonna be good because we are generally uh well we're not generally known for doing that, that well with with uh, wildling units, so I'm hopeful that we will just be able to do a little bit here. And uh is that that's an enemy. Hello. What are you doing here? Get get the hell out of here. Yeah, there we go. Seems like we took out his horse. Maybe we can get him dead now that he's caught behind enemy lines. Seems like they're charging in. I don't think that's a good idea. Charging into a wonderful, wonderful shield wall, basically. And uh, hopefully they're going to get themselves eliminated. Wow. There is a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of lag going on when everyone runs into each other. That's for sure. Maybe we can, uh... oh, what, what? Why do they have so many, so many low, low tier units? Yeah, I suppose these are the slaves that they they are uh, known for, I guess. And uh, I think, I think we might be okay to actually retreat from this. Look at this, we're actually doing okay in terms of eliminating people right now. I could technically tell my cavalry to go over to the side here and charge in from the right side and try and eliminate a couple of the archers. Usually, I don't play with such a high battle size, but. I thought, well, maybe we should try it out, considering we are using wildlings, and they are generally known to be very, very good in numbers. I thought, yeah, why not? You know, let's try it out and see what happens. 
and it seems like it's actually not even doing that badly right now. Who are these guys, by the way? What are they tagged as? Oh, they're tagged as horse archers. Oh, uh, okay, well, I can just tell them to charge straight on in then. I don't really mind too much about that. Our cavalry is making mincemeat out of their archers from the side there, so that's pretty good. Maybe I can do a little bit of damage here myself as well. We are... Oh, well. Uh, these guys are actually not even not even firing away, by the looks of things. And we are killing so many, or we are losing so many. No, it seems like we are losing so many. That uh, the text log has given up. The text log is just like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I, I've given up, I'm, I'm out of here, you know? So, not entirely sure what's going on with that, but yeah, well. I suppose when there are so many units on the battlefield, that's what happens. And maybe what we can do is eliminate these people. Oh, look, there we go. There we go. We're actually starting to get a couple of reinforcements to come in here. And how are we doing? How are we doing? Actually, not even bad. We've only well, we've only lost 160, and we've eliminated 200, and uh, almost 280 actually. So that is pretty good. Let's try and ah, oh, really wanted to eliminate that guy. But, oh well, never mind. I did take out his horse, I believe. Anyway, let's tell our uh, our units just to charge straight on in here. Shall we? You know what? Let's not do that. Let's not do that. I want to make sure that we don't uh, overextend ourselves too much. Because we have the advantage right now. They are the ones that must be pressed to attack us. And so we should probably be a bit careful here. And I will be putting them into shield wall again. I know a couple of people can't actually do shield wall like the archers and the horse archers and so on and so forth. But yeah, anyone that can do a shield wall, let's just get them to go into shield wall. And uh, then we'll start to move everyone ahead towards the enemy. And we'll see what we can do with that. It seems like that is probably the best idea for the moment. As, uh, well... As, well, you can clearly see, the enemy only has, it's seemingly, archers remaining. So we shouldn't have to worry too much about it. Unfortunately, the cavalry is just kind of standing here. We kind of need to move our cavalry a little bit. Let's tell our horse archers to charge straight on in here. And we should probably tell our cavalry to charge in as well once they get over to the side. And let's get... Let's get everyone, there we go, to attack enemy of undetermined type. Ah, oh, yes, probably not the best idea to do that. Can you kill the archers instead, please? Oh, well, I don't think it really matters too much, does it? We, we can just eliminate however many we want ourselves as well. There we go, yes. Yes, there we go. Okay, so initially we did have a, a little bit of a problem with the huge amounts of, well, lag. <laughs> That's the only way to say it that we had, but... After that, oh yeah, we were easily able to tackle uh, and stumble the uh, the enemy relatively easily, so not too bad. We did lose quite a few units, so I will probably have to go back to our garrison at Carthagar and see if I can retrieve a couple of units from there. However, well, that's going to deplete the garrison pretty significantly. I don't, as I say, I don't really want to take those Unsullied out of there, even though it would... Oh, really? Did I really... Uh, took a serious injury. Minus one strength. Well, well, that's fine. We do have Silver, so she's obviously going to be healing me up as soon as possible. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I don't really want to take Unsullied for automated sieges. You know, like just standing outside and doing a siege to try and reduce the amount of food that is going in there. And trying to reduce the amount of units that the garrison has. Because if we can do that, I think we'll be in a really good position. And there you go. The last two are actually running away. And I think I can probably just retreat right now to get them gone. And that is true. There we go. 27 renown for that. 14 morale. Pretty decent. We did lose 63. Which is actually not even that bad. I might not even need to go back to our garrison. Which would be... Oh my, oh yes, this is the best thing that could have possibly happened, getting to take him prisoner. I'm actually going to do that. Yeah, they, they hate us so much right now, they really do. I don't think they can hate any enemy more than they hate us right now, because we have absolutely every single one of their vassals in some kind of incarceration. Pretty crazy. Okay, so let's bury the dead and do all that wonderful stuff, gain a little bit of extra reputation and morale, and, oh well. Daisy actually did level up. Pretty cool. Okay, Baron also leveled up too, so let's see what we can get him. Let's get him another point in Power Strike, I guess. And uh, maybe we can get him a couple of points into Archery. Uh, not that many. And Daisy also leveled up. And she's actually 
pretty formidable as you can see right there. Okay, so she has some really good proficiencies, but her stats themselves are not exactly great. I mean, her attributes are, f are fantastic, her skills not so much, so we're probably going to need to do something about that. Not entirely sure what though. So what we could do is get to 12 intelligence and we could level up her tactics to 4, and then we could technically go for another little bit in leadership or pathfinding or something like that because her becoming a vassal might actually make the most sense because she's proficient in fighting she's got already some decent tactics leadership she just needs a little bit of pathfinding to make herself a little bit quicker and otherwise I think she might be pretty decent so I guess we'll just go intelligence here and we'll just spec a couple of points into pathfinding and then we'll just spec the rest of the proficiencies in crossbow, even though that's not really going to do much. Alright, so let's get some guardsmen. Oh, more wildling raiders, that's pretty good. Wildling champions. And I don't have any money. Yeah. I did go over to Carthagar very quickly, and I retrieved... Well, not a very large amount of money, obviously. Uh, seems like I'm going to need to do a little bit more if I want to level these guys up. But there's only three of them, so I don't think it's going to make too much difference. And we can continue this siege technically so i'm actually going to wait here until tomorrow and we're going to see whether we can do something here okay yeah so the cold of winter this is exactly the reason why i did not want to have unsullied in my army because that is going to mean that they'll just die from random events and we do not want that of course that would be absolutely awful okay so i am wounded so we probably are going to have to oh can i actually your siege camp can i actually go to oh yeah, that is, that is unfortunately not going to work. All right, so I'm going to have to... Oh, ah, I can do this. Oh, fantastic. Okay, phew. I was a bit worried there for a second. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, that... Oh, that... Oh. Well, that's... That's actually kind of bad. Okay. Well, you know what I'm going to have to do then? I'm going to have to leave. Uh, the enemy's trying to break our defenses. Uh, Why I take others to force them to withdraw? I guess we'll do that. And... Wow, we lost 22, but we only killed two? That is not a no, that is not a job well done. Are you serious? Okay, well, there you go. I, I'm going to have to move away, unfortunately. And we will have to go back to Carthagar and see if we can uh, maybe get a little bit of... What? I did not want to go that way. Thank you very much. Okay, anyway, yes. See if we can get a couple more units. And uh, <laughs> hopefully I will make it there in time for me to uh, actually get... Well healed and uh, I think you know what I think someone actually made a pretty decent argument for uh, accepting these ransoms because we were able to beat that guy with a subpar army no offense wildlings but yes a relatively subpar army and he's giving us 22,000 we're, we're, we're getting 22,000 for him and I think when he regenerates himself, he's probably not going to have that great a unit. So that's the point that you made in the comment at the very least. So I think might make sense, actually. So I, I guess we'll do that. That's 22,000 increased to our treasury, which is pretty good. All right. So I'm actually starting to get a little bit luckier with reducing Valantis's uh, food stores. And uh, I'm not entirely sure why that is, to be honest, because I've basically done exactly the same thing as I've always done, really. And uh, on my way back here, by the way, well, the fellow that we were spreading rumors for, Ni 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 Niesos, Niesos, I guess is his name. Anyway, that fellow... He also was ransomed for 51,000, and I accepted that as, well, hopefully we'll be able to defeat him again. Bear in mind, I have taken a very, well, light army once again. Basically, this is just all mostly wildlings and uh, other random units. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll do okay. Allow him to join your party. Yes, mercenary, join me. And ah, there we go. We have another 33,000 here, but this is Malakwo. And I, I, I believe that Malakwo is the, is the actual ruler of Valantis officially, at least in the game. And... I think we can probably get more than 33,000, so I'm going to I'm going to decline that and we'll we'll try and get above 50,000 for him. All right, okay. So it seems like 10 more days is not working. So maybe we, we, what we can do is maybe uh surrender. No, no. He's not going to he's not going to agree to that. So let's see. Yeah, there's only four there's 404 434 still here. 
Now, I'm a bit worried about this, to be honest. So let's let's continue to build some checkpoints here. Send some men to infiltrate the place. Actually, let's not do that. Let's find a traitor within the walls. I think that that was a little bit better than the other selection that I made beforehand. And we'll see how that goes. And I'm just wondering whether doing it, like, after one another has more of an effect to reduce the presence of enemies. But uh, we'll see if that is indeed the case. I mean, we've just lost 28 there, but obviously mostly wildling casualties, nothing really too much to worry about, but obviously there we go. We are, we are now, we are now treated. Oh yeah. I should also mention, I went to the treasury. I found out I had about 200,000 in there. I think I still have about, yeah, there you go. I have 170,000 now because I, as I said, did ransom the fellow for what was it now? 51,000. And uh, yeah, I took out about 80,000 from the uh, from the treasury and uh, and so hopefully if I lose too many units here I will be able to go to Kohor and maybe we can see whether we can do something about maybe you know getting some uh, some additional unsullied I obviously don't know whether that's going to be the best idea but maybe it will be something to do order the vanguard to prepare the assault now we probably don't want to do that we don't want to do any of this to be honest but well, I guess we're just going to wait and we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm actually trying something pretty, uh, shall we just say, inadvisable here. Personally, I would not do this in many situations, mainly because actually assaulting something when you don't have amazing units, like the Unsullied, for example, and uh, when you don't have a clear advantage, that's probably not the best idea. Let's just let's just say that, you know, it's not the best idea. But I'm doing it literally just because I want to see if we have an opportunity on our hands here. We might be able to get a couple of kills that will hopefully eventually mean that we will be able to force a surrender of some kind. And I'm, I'm just talking about skirmishing here. Just a little bit of skirmishing. Just take out as many units as I can get my hands on, maybe. And uh, mm, this guy's going to be a bit of a pain, isn't he? Uh, thankfully he has switched to his melee weapon now, so I will be able to hopefully focus these guys down and then turn around and then not have to worry about too much, hopefully. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes, get killed please, thank you. I appreciate it. And, uh, oh, we're, we're actually doing pretty well here so far. And that's surprising to me, because I, I actually think that in general we, uh, we, you know, Elias going in, usually he's, uh, you know, not the best, you know, he sometimes gets himself killed when he doesn't really want to, and he stumbles very many times. I mean, he's not really living up to his Bloodfish title right now, is he? Uh, oh well, never mind. Hopefully we'll be able to just continue on here. I just want to try and kill as many archers as possible, because obviously the archers are very good. The Tiger Cloak guards are very good as well, so obviously that's a bit of a thing that we need to worry about if we come across one but for the most part look at this look at what i'm able to do here just going in by myself has wrought so much damage to the enemy that i think we are in a really decent position if i'm able to clear these guys out from this area here i think we might be facing a uh, pretty decent amount of kills on our part here and that means, as I say, that we will be able to return to our garrison at Carthagar, maybe come back with, you know, a pretty significant army, 300 plus units or something like that, and then we'll be able to force them to surrender. And so I think that, in general, doing this kind of thing, and then forcing a surrender if, if you outnumber the opponent, that's, that's usually a good idea, in my opinion. So maybe, we'll, maybe we can make it work. If we can't make it work, then obviously... That's kind of a shame, but we have weakened the garrison significantly enough. And I really wish I had some kind of amazing two-handed weapon now, but my my Arak is doing a pretty fantastic job as it is. And I'm actually kind of surprised that our wildlings are surviving so incredibly much right now. I really wish I could get around somehow, to be honest. Is there another ladder over there? Uh, is, that, is that another ladder? Is that another ladder right there? It might be. Oh, it seems like... Who's this? Why are you stuck? <laughs> Why are you stuck, sir? I'm going to tell you to hold your fire. Uh, actually, he, what is he? What is this guy? Oh, he's an infantry? Are you serious? Okay, yeah, hold your fire, infantry. Okay, you, you probably want to run now. 
Mr. Outlaw Poacher, who I'm going to probably leave in the garrison after this particular siege because he's being kind of annoying and actually making it much more difficult for our forces in general. So anyway, I'm just going to jump out here. Oh yeah, the fall damage in this mod is realistic. Let's just say that. Anyone jumping from that height is going to take a huge amount of... Well, you're probably going to break your legs, aren't you? You're probably going to break your legs, let's be honest. So Elias... He's, uh, he's got some steel on his legs, that's for sure. Anyway, let's see if we can do a little bit of extra damage here and see what we have. Oh, wow, this is, this is kind of, this is kind of precarious now, actually, because obviously I don't have as much HP to work with that I did beforehand, so let's see if I can maybe just eliminate a couple more of these archers. I'm actually kind of surprised that the enemy is just standing there, just letting me do everything that I want to kind of do right now. I mean, it's kind of surprising. I would have expected them to fight back a little bit more than they are right now. Very, very surprised. Okay, well, there's no one behind me either. Okay, this, this might actually result in us taking Volantis? I don't think so somehow, personally. I really don't. My shield is almost destroyed, by the way, so I've got to be a bit careful about that. I am taking quite a bit of damage from their spearmen right now, which is not great. Amusingly enough, their slave warriors actually appear to be pretty decent. I mean, considering they don't have the best gear or anything like that, they do appear to be wearing me down quite well. And, yeah, that's the reason why I kind of want a two-handed weapon of some kind, because they are able to just outrange me at the moment. And I'm, I'm going to die, actually. I am going to die. That's just how it is, unfortunately. Maybe I can just take out this guy, this last one. Maybe. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm, oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we took out that fellow. Maybe we can just do a couple of extra little bits of damage here. Wow, I'm really surprised, actually. Yeah, you know why? You know why this is not going well? Because that guy on the battlements is blocking all of our other forces. If, if he wasn't blocking, we would probably be in a really good position right now. I mean, we're, we're already in a decent position. I mean, we've eliminated how many... Oh. I actually thought we eliminated many more than that. Oh, well. Never mind. We eliminated 130 so far, which is actually not the best. But it's enough. You know what I mean? It's enough because we did have 430 enemies in here. And now we have, well, 300. And so if I come back with about 330 units or something like that, and there's the death the inevitable demise of Elias, then, uh, yeah, if I come back, we might very well have a surrender on our hands. And just look at all of these enemies. It's just insane. And it's amazing that uh, our units are actually able to hold their own. But this fellow right here, this guy, he's a traitor. Well, actually, both of them are traitors by the looks of things. They seem to be blocking all of our units. And you can see here that we actually have giants. We have all kinds of things waiting to come in and deal some damage. But no, that appears not to be working, unfortunately. And I am going to suffer quite a bit of renown loss for this. And we did lose 36 units, which is actually okay. We killed 102. Elias himself killed 90... Well, he killed 73, but 92 total units eliminated so that's pretty decent and 102 have been killed so let's actually have a look at how many they have remaining yeah they only have 308 so technically if i come back with over 300 and well over 308 then i should be able to force some kind of surrender let's see if that actually works all right so we've begun the siege once again just to give them a little bit of incentive on building checkpoints and ladders and all that sort of thing and hopefully we will be able to intimidate them into surrendering in some way but obviously because this is a town i think we're Mm, we're probably not going to be able to do it as easily. We probably will have to go back in, at, you know, in an assault and try. And, uh, well, shall we just say, perform some commando actions and eliminate people behind enemy lines as much as possible. Anyway, at night, your guards report that they observed a group of enemies dressed in sheepskins heading to a nearby stream. Right now, they are filling leather sacks with water to bring back to the settlement. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to send men to ambush the enemy in sheepskins. Yes, your soldiers surrounded the enemy in sheepskins and fell upon them by surprise, spreading death. And there we go. We did lose six, but the enemy lost <laughs> a grand total of seven. Very good. Very good. Okay, I wouldn't call that perfect, actually, Elias, but okay, fine. 
Ah, they're trying to burn our assault equipment. Well, that's fine, I guess. Burn down our siege equipment on the other side. Oh. Well, that didn't work out too well, did it? Okay, well, let's see if we can... Oh, no. It seems like we can't get a surrender going on here, unfortunately. And I guess we will have to wait until the checkpoint is up and running. I think it... No, they're still building it. They're still building it. Not entirely sure how long it is going to take. But hopefully once the checkpoint is up, we will get a, uh, a pretty decent... Uh, well, shall we say, bargaining chip. We'll basically have them completely surrounded and then we might have something going on there. But if not, then, uh, well, no, no, still not, still not working for some reason. Checkpoints are finished. Now order active watching. Fantastic. Okay, there we go. That is done. So now that is done, I'm just going to wait maybe an hour or two more. There we go. And let's call for a meeting. Nope. No, nope. okay, apparently not. Apparently not. Okay, so apparently we just don't have enough. We just don't have enough units to be able to tackle this. As, yeah, as you can see, we're actually outnumbered by the garrison here. That's the main problem. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to end this episode off here. But next time, we will be heading into Volantis once again. And hopefully this time around, we will not have an outlaw poacher in our army to get all of our other units stuck. And I'm actually going to go and try and recruit a couple more Unsullied, I suppose, just to top them up a little bit. I want to make sure that we have a good amount of elite troops if they are needed at some point. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.